What is going on guys? Today, we have a great plan. We have a great day coming up. I'm gonna go pick up Chris up, and then after that we're gonna be going over to Paul's to ride some flat in the garage because, guess the temperature it is outside? It's minus 40. Yep, hella stoked because of the weather, you know, casually, but you know, we can't ride at all. There's snow, what do you want us to do? So we gotta ride flat in someone's heated garage, and that person is Paul. So, let's just get in on our day. All right, so now I'm just grabbing my shoes, and we're gonna be heading out here in like two seconds. What's up, Chris? Hey. It's freezing outside. Right? Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm okay. Ooh. <coughs> All right. Got Devin here. He's gonna come up. Oh. Okay, we're here. Let's go. This is how Chris does his transitions, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Paul! Chris, come get your scooter. A few inches later. Hey, Paul. Are you in? Hey, cool. Hey, cool. Hey, cool. Are you scared of your cab? Sorry. You okay, Coop? Alright, right for the <laughs> time. So cool. We're in Paul's garage, having a good time. We're just gonna go drink some water and get some fire clips for you guys. Oh. Hey, Chris. Hey, oh, look, Connor showed I up. I just realized Remember that took so Ooh. long to do? The joggers are coming up. Oh my gosh, Chris. Oh, that's not what doesn't work. Snaking at the skate park gets pretty real. <laughs> Not what you have. <laughs> oh, I forgot what it was like filming with the 18 at 55. Dude, should we actually do that again? Cause that was hell steezy, we get that. I landed one, one blunder. <laughs> you okay Chris? Hey guys, what is going on? So, kind of moving on to a new segment of the video right now where today I want us to do a parts graveyard with you guys. You had just seen us all riding at Paul's garage, but this is the main segment of the video and I want to try, sort of talk to you guys about the parts that I have in my bedroom. So, we're gonna get started with the most OG parts that I have in my sort of resourcefulness is this bad boy. So the first part of my park graveyard is my Mad Gear. Um, or VX2, I think it's a VX2. But this is the first pro scooter that I actually ever had. This deck is what I learned my tail ups on as a, little, as a little guy, and essentially that was pretty much it. And with that scooter, I had my VX2 bars where you can actually install your own type of handlebars on it. So if you wanted T-bars, bull bars, or whatever, you just throw them on. And they have some just classic ODI grips. Uh, before we sort of, I just want to quickly mention, if any of these parts here on this table have all been bought at Vermin Scooters. So if you guys want to buy any of your parts, make sure to go to verminscooterscanada.com to get all your parts that you need. I have never bought my parts anywhere else. They're probably one of the best shops in the Alberta area and throughout Canada. So if you guys want any of these parts that are on this table, make sure you go to verminscooterscanada.com. Plug it up. All right, so after that, I got my Urban Art Primo V2 deck. I actually got given this deck by a local in Airdrie. He just left it in my car and said I could have it. So yeah, this bad boy is pretty nice. Next up, um, the biggest thing that I can tell any probably like rider to have is one of these bad boys. Essentially just a extra kit, like an extra tool kit. It's got like uh, axles, uh, I got a few extra brakes. Like I got this Trinity Fender gear that I'll be throwing in there, as well as this Lucky Evo brake. Um, and I have another Lucky brake in there as well. And this just has essentially a bunch of extra bolts, top caps, etc. because um, you can never get enough of those. Like there are always parts that just seem to go and you just always seem to need more of them. Uh, I have a extra part of a headset here uh, because only the bottom ring had burst and the top had stayed perfectly fine. So I still have that part. Um, you never know when you might need it. I also have a uh, pair of ODI dark blue grips that I was running on my Raptor setup. If you guys remember it, it's right here. Um, I actually still have my Raptor deck, but it's broken 
and I couldn't seem to find it. It might be at uh, my location in Quebec. I also have this deck that was provided from Vermin Scooters. I had talked with Dave and Dave had essentially hooked me up with this AO Stealth deck and, and AO wheel right here. These wheels, not gonna lie, probably some of the best wheels. If, you're right, if your park is all grainy and like hard concrete, probably some of the best wheels you can actually buy. Uh, just the fact because they don't actually de-hub, um, they just like wear down because the urethane is so hard that um, they just always last. Like these wheels were given to me by Aiden Spate and this wheel right here is probably at least three years old. Hasn't de-hubbed, the urethane is broken down to whatever it is now, but still runs like a beauty. I don't even understand it. Uh, Lucky 10 wheels, I have a bunch of Lucky 10 wheels actually because Lucky 10s to me have always lasted the longest. Um, I love how their urethane is so like slim and smooth. Um, I love riding with them. Like I said, I never seem to wear down the urethane enough before to actually start throwing down tricks. I did try Lucky Adam wheels for a while, but um, they just weren't sort of my style. Uh, Tilt Coastals though, love these. Um, I got this Mad Gear wheel here where I didn't even ride, I literally put them on my scooter and yeah, they, the whole urethane came off. So in cases like this, if this ever happens to you at the skate park, go to your local shop and get them warrantied. Um, unfortunately, I didn't actually buy these. Furman Scooters gave them to me, um, and they were just from like some default bin. Uh, next, I got a Mad Gear wheel right here, and I actually use spoked wheels to keep my um, uh, to keep my bar ends in. So I just have a bunch of extra bar ends here that uh, just because I like having bar ends in my bars. Uh, essentially, because especially riding tie bars, it just keeps them balanced a bit more. Um, it doesn't just make them like spin really fast, which I, I like having stability on my scooter. After that, I got some more of these AO wheels. I love them, especially for riding mills, because the urethane is so strong, so it doesn't ruin my good wheels. Um, I got some more of the Lucky Toaster wheels here that I was just given because I needed an extra wheel. Uh, Lucky 10. Wheels is one of those things you just can't get enough of. If you always have extra wheels, like you don't really have to worry at the skate park and like, Especially since right now, like, if you guys didn't know this, Vermin Scooters is having a massive sale on Lucky Pair. When I mean Lucky Pairs, I mean, like, pairs of Lucky Wheels. So you can get Lunars, Toasters, you can get, um, Lucky Tens. And just for two wheels, it's 60 bucks. That means $30 a wheel. So if you guys need wheels right now, it is the perfect occasion to order some, to go into their shop. Uh, it is free shipping above, I believe, $100. So if you guys want to go check them out, link down below. VerminScootersCanada.com for those wheels. Um, I also have a tilt arc double clamp uh, which I honestly loved I wrote it on my Raptor setup as well and I have an HIC compression pen right here after that I have this deck that Berman actually supplied to me which I honestly loved how these deck feel uh, the these are the NV KOS uh, King of Spades V2 I believe yeah these are the King of Spades V2 deck I love how they wrote I love the weight and how they're sort of balanced I also love that the um, brake right here and the axle, not the axle, but the uh, spacers were actually together in one. After that, I have the deck that I'm planning to give away soon. So be sure to keep watching my channel for updates on that. Uh, this deck is a, a Lucky Evo deck that I personally painted with Connor Murphy um, and Paul Krause. I love how this deck turned out. It looks honestly amazing. Um, still honestly was a first try for this type of design, but um, even though it didn't come out perfectly on how I wanted it, I'm really happy on how it did came out. So um, if you guys are looking to get a uniquely designed deck like this, uh, be sure to keep checking it out so uh, you guys can join that giveaway. Also um, for the giveaway, I'm also planning to give out uh, these amazing bars right here. Uh, this will be for another giveaway. These are customly painted Apex Bull Bars. It has a shade of black that you actually can't find on the market because we picked out the shade personally. Um, I'm just waiting to get a sticker right here and they're gonna be give, being given away with red ODI grips. Um, so if you guys want a chance to get these eight, uh, HIC oversized Apex Bull Bars, remember, you gotta keep checking out the channel. Uh, last but not least on my parts graveyard today, is my actual set. I love this setup. I love it so much. I got Lucky King tie bars, Aztec Works, Tilt Headset, uh, Tilt Quad Arc Clamp, and so the big thing with this suitor, I will be cleaning it up soon and doing a custom build for you guys. So if you guys want to check that out, make sure you keep and watch on the channel. I am only 10 subscribers away from 200 subscribers. Like I said, guys, make sure to plug it up if you guys are looking to win some of these parts. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Devin Raspberry. And this was my parts graveyard.